Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Peace. I'm a psychic astrologer and an intuitive life coach. If you're interested in a personal reading, please feel free to check the description box down below. There you will find my website. Uh, also, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe button. You know I appreciate it. And hit the notification bell. Today's reading, the overall energy is the end of a tough cycle approaches. And at, on the top of the... Um, Rider weight to row, we have the Three of Swords. So I do feel like there has been um, a severance. There has been some pain associated with some of the things that we have been going through today. And I do feel like um, you need to realize that a personal issue reaches resolution. I do feel here that somebody has been um, in the hospital, and I'm so sorry to hear that. I do feel like this person has had some form of a surgery or a heart condition this morning uh, or today or this has been something that's been ongoing um, I do feel like this person could have definitely undergone some form of a heart surgery or a surgery in general um, I do see that this person is definitely healing right now um, and in trying to go through the healing process I do feel like this is going to be you know the road to recovery I don't think that this is obviously an overnight thing and I think that we need to have some form of patience okay um, I am seeing that in the morning um, there could be uh, you know I I feel like you could be uh, talking with somebody who is in the healing profession um, I am seeing that here um, and I do feel like um, we are definitely needing to do some research today. Um, I'm definitely seeing research um, and really looking at, you know, new modalities and healing. I just feel like this is a, a definitely, it's, it's a healing day is what I'm seeing. Um, you know, I feel like if you've been going through some health issues, maybe it's time for you to sit back and relax. Uh, yeah, and be in the here and now. Okay, um, I do feel like the number 32 could be relevant in your life, um, which also adds up to a five and fives are change created by outside forces beyond your control and there's nothing you can do about it. I do feel like, you know, if you I feel like a lot of people are constantly looking back at the past, and I do see that here, um, you know, and past severances, people that we've had to walk away from and go through the healing process. I, the, the signs that I'm seeing here today is a, a, a Sagittarius. I'm seeing a Capricorn here. Also, I am seeing a Virgo, and I am seeing a Cancer here. So I am, what because I see the the Virgo here I am seeing an emphasis on hospitals and health and healing because Virgo rules Western medicine so I do feel like maybe the modalities that we've used in the past um, you know we need to try something different and it's time that we just kind of sit where we are and really look at the bigger picture okay because I do feel like there is a blending of ideas if we are able to um, really like be present. I, I, there's a real emphasis on being present. When I'm looking at, you know, these cards, they're all just sitting there. They're not moving, okay? They're sitting there, they're being very present, and they're looking at ways of healing, okay? But they're needing to have patience because, like I said, this is not an, this is not, um, This is not going to be just today. So I do feel like this could have something to do with the masculine. Um, I do feel like there is a masculine in your life um, who is looking back. Uh, I, I feel like this person has possibly walked away from you in the past. And I do feel like this person is wanting to communicate okay um, maybe they have some ideas that they want to run past you but I do feel like this person hasn't said anything yet and I do feel like some of you guys are being uh, watched or spied on and this person is keeping an eye on you and I don't see that in a creepy way so that's not where I'm going with this um, I do feel like you guys need to sit back and do some meditation as well um, but I am seeing that this masculine is definitely wanting to take action 
um, you know, I'm seeing the crowns here. So I do feel like it's somebody in power and authority, okay, that is wanting to, to, and I, I you see that, that new pathway right there? I feel like, you know, once they are get grounded, because you notice that this angel is getting grounded. So I do see here, um, with the angel here, I am definitely feeling like you guys, um, you are surrounded. This is divinely protected. Okay. And if you're, if you have a loved one who is going into the hospital, I feel like this person is also, um, being protected as well. Uh, I do feel like, you know, angels are definitely watching over this person today. Um, so that's good. Um, uh, I definitely see a, a, a family situation here as well because the, the full moon in Cancer and you have the full moon in Capricorn. Capricorn rules the father and Cancer rules the mother. So I do want to say, um, you know, there might be... Um, I do feel like you have a child here that is trying to help you heal as well. So if you went through surgery, you could have a child who is, is taking care of you at this time. I do see it as a family member. Um, so however that means for you. see a separation here that you are needing to heal from so possibly you know if your parents have separated I do see that here as well and I'm so sorry to hear that but just know that they needed to go through the healing process so that they can move forward in their own personal life and be the best ver version of themselves that they can be as well so um, and sometimes that means a part So we do, we have the raven, okay? The universe is calling you to notice important synchronicities, okay? So um, I do feel like uh, your guides and angels really are showing you guys signs and synchronicities and I feel like you just need to if you're if you're too busy looking at the past and the future and you're not sitting in the here and now you're gonna miss all the signs that the universe is literally putting right in front of you your guides and angels are literally aligning this okay so um, you know if you asked about a job maybe the universe is trying to show you where you're supposed to go next or if it's about a relationship of you know if you're trying to choose between two different people because I see the two cups here and I see the three of swords here you're not going to know unless you're present. You'll probably hear that person's name over and over and over again or see their name or signs of them everywhere you go. So uh, you have the wren at the bottom of the deck. Be bold and confident and use all of your resources to create your dreams. So again, there's that emphasis on like blending, okay, and creation. Uh, but you also have to be in the here and now. Um, I feel like... You know, um, the last few readings I've been doing, there's, there's this bold emphasis on, on resources. And I feel like, you know, if you have been through heartache and pain and stuff in the past, which I do see here, um, and I do see on Monday that it is still continuing, um, you know, I feel like you need to heal from this and allow yourself. So reach out to somebody who can help you through these circumstances, okay? Um, and you have to be bold and, and make the first move. You know, other people can't make this move for you. It is entirely up to you to uh, reach out and talk to someone, communicate, um, because I do feel like there is someone here that can help you. You know, the King of Wands, he's bold, he's he's courageous, he's passionate, um, he, he goes after what he wants. Um, so I do feel like when it's saying be bold and confident, that that is like asking you to take on the King of Wands energy, you know, and you can't do that by, oh, well, things didn't work out in the past, you know, because that's where this energy comes in. So we want the, the swords to fall away, okay? So I feel like... Um, pay attention to the signs that are, that are showing themselves to you. Spirit, please show me... Two 
do you have? Okay. Yeah. So this could be the one. So I do feel that if there is um, someone that you have been thinking about, uh, that you have been wanting to reach out to, I do feel, like I said, I feel like somebody has been watching someone else and trying to be very patient. Um, like I said, you know, you've got the angels here and you've got the cherubs here. I do feel this is a very divinely, uh, I feel like the, uni the divine is orchestrating the two of you coming back together because I feel like that this is like divine divine oneness okay um and i feel like the universe is 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 really showing you signs and synchronicities but i think a lot of the time what happens is you know people try to stay so busy that they don't see it yeah attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully and that's literally talking about being in the here and now if you're too busy trying to th or thinking about the past and the things that didn't work out you're not going to notice the beautiful things that are trying to come in uh, I do feel like in some instances this is a blending of a family. I feel like if you have the end of a tough cycle approaches, if you have been a single father, because I am seeing the emphasis here on the father, um, I feel like there is an emphasis on um, you know, reaching out and blending families so that you have div divine counterpart because what is across from Cancer is Capricorn, the mother and the father, and there has been a severance. So, you know, uh, maybe and then getting together with someone else. So I am seeing that here as well, uh, you know, and take that and put it where it fits. If that doesn't fit, don't try to make it fit, okay? Um, you guys, this is a beautiful reading for Monday. I think that, um, you know, you need to realize that you have already met the person that you're supposed to be with. So if this is a love reading, I think that you need to get over the hurt and the pain from the past. And I think that that's what this person is doing. And this person is really wanting to reach out and, and talk to you. So uh, I hope you have a beautiful day. And if you're interested in a personal reading, my email address is thefootstepstopeace.com. Uh, please feel free to check the description box down below. Like, share, and subscribe. And leave a comment. Let me know how this is working out for you. And I hope you guys have a beautiful day. You take care.